Hello, all you amazing and wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel. I stand alone gaming, and today we're going to be playing some more Satisfactory. So, with that being said, in the last episode, we made some versatile framework and advanced wiring, and we have those in our inventory. But with that being said, it is also Fixmas. You get some gifts that float around land, and you get some gift points. And I think you can spend them somewhere. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the main reason why we're here. And we completed all of our parts here. So let's go ahead and drop all this in. Feel that up. And start this episode off with a bang. Get some gifts in the background. And we're about to... Uh, give back a little bit so Pew. so with that being said as you can see our objectives change for phase three we need versatile framework which we probably already have completely full of uh we need it looks like some type of motor and some kind of uh box maybe hold on let's find out what it is exactly before i sound stupid which is definitely a possibility. Definitely can't wait to get, um, I mean, we already have a jetpack, but I can't wait to get the fuels he actually used a jetpack. So that'd be nice. Fuel generator right there. Let's go to tier five. Gas canister, oil production. So modular engine and adaptive control unit for both of the other uh, phase items that we need. But let's start off with oil processing. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these materials and I will see you guys in a second. All right. So we grabbed all the materials that we need. Let's go ahead and drop them into here. And we are ready to unlock oil processing. So let's go ahead and mm -hmm. click this bad boy. We now unlocked oil processing and what that gives us is the ore extractor, refinery, the valve, plastic, rubber, fuel, petroleum, coke, circuit board, you can scan for crude oil and new parts or new shop products in the awesome shop. Next we have industrial manufacturing, which unlocks the manufacturer truck computer modular engine adaptive control unit however this requires us to already have some uh oil processing so let's see if we can pick any of these that does not require oil processing mm -hmm. and none of them do so that means our next step is definitely finding oil putting down some oil extractors using refineries to refine them either into plastic or rubber or fuel and is our next step so if i am correct there is fuel by our current um steel manufacturing plant over there so if we go ahead and scan real quick i am fairly certain there is oil on the other side of this mountain down by the beach give it a minute I am correct. I believe it's down in this area. They must have moved it. So there's four. Looks like there could be something underneath, but there's three pure, uh, three impure nodes over here. And that might be our closest oil said there was one down here scan again just to double check but i feel like three impure nodes would probably be about the same as a regular pure node so let's zoom out a little bit you have 
two normal or one normal, one pure down here. We have some impure up here. Ah, so one of the reasons I put the uh, base that we have right here is because before I'm pretty sure there used to be oil right along this beach up here. So, I mean, it's unfortunate that that is the case. Um, our explorer is way over there somehow. But let's go check out this area first. We'll see what we can do over here. If it doesn't look good, we'll go check out the other area. It's your only two options. Uh, without getting a hefty uh, delivery <laughs> job. So let's go ahead and check those out, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so after some exploring, I took care of the wildlife around this area, but we have one impure node here. We have a second impure node here, which is very unfortunate, you know. No one really wants to work with impure if they can help it, but... It should be enough to get us some of our basic products started. And there's also a normal node down under these trees. I don't know if we can see it from here. But if we go ahead and... Oh, there it is. So if we look down here, there is our normal node. So we have three nodes total. Uh, two impure equals a Im uh, normal node. And two normal nodes equal a pure. So between all three of them, we will have a pure. Just means we'll be using more resources for the same job, which is unfortunate. Um, but it is what it is. So um, I don't think we have the materials needed to craft everything. So we might have to come back for motors. We could go ahead and start the foundation now. But we'll need motors for the oil extractors. We need three of those. And we'll need pretty much everything that we already have. The motors are the only thing we don't have automated currently. Uh, we could quickly do that. And we also need... I think it'll be in storage. Organization, maybe. We'll need a fluid buffer. A few of those. We have all those materials. We'll be fine there. We should grab a bunch of uh, copper sheets because we're going to be doing a lot of piping um what else did we unlock i believe it's production so the refinery here so we're going to need a boatload of motors so we should definitely automate those as soon as possible and we'll need the oil extractors so if we're going to do three oil extractors we need at least 45 motors we'll probably need a more refineries it's kind of like the smelter of the oil world so we'll probably need at least six of those so if we go under the assumption of six we'll need 45 motors plus the 60 for the refineries which will give us 105. so let's head back to our base we'll craft 105 of those we will automate motors real quick uh, we have all the materials in our uh, storage location that we could combine and start crafting the uh motors so let's go ahead and do that and i'll see you guys once we get back but we're not that far we are literally right there if i don't flip myself over so i'll see you guys when we get back to the top there all right so we are currently back at our main storage facility and in the last episode we built this which is our advanced wiring production wire stratters and cable so we have plenty of that stuff coming uh, what we could do is take the stratters directly off of this belt, though. They come over to here, right off the end here. And we could take these stratters. One, two, three. Keep this line going. And make motors out of the same stratters. Because we are about to be full up on our advanced wiring. Literally, it's getting backed up on the line here. Once it gets backed up. We will have a full supply of stratters coming in. So I believe the stratters we have coming in are roughly 60 per minute. Or it's probably lower than that. Um, but we could go ahead and pull up some assemblies. Let's do a line up right here. And let's see what it takes for motors. So it takes two stratters, two rotors, 
And uh, I think we're getting 15 striders per minute currently. So two of these should be more than enough for now. Uh, we have rotors coming in from downstairs. We have striders coming in from right here. So let's go ahead and extend this out. Actually, what we'll do is put the splitters. One, two, three, like so. Let's get rid of this. Extend this out to here. There we go. Actually, let's delete both of these. We'll just make it look all pretty quick. One, two. Buckle my shoe. There we go. Tier three. Don't really need tier three, but it doesn't really hurt us at this point. We have so much uh, seal coming through. We're not going to miss it. Drop that in. Drop that in. And now. Still looks ugly, but it's fine. Now we can have the rotors come up right here and head this way. So let's go ahead and drop a conveyor pole right. We'll give ourselves a little bit of room. So we'll drop it right here. We'll connect the MK3. Take this all the way down to our storage unit. Like so. And we'll be automating the motors. Very nice, very nice. So we'll have you come over to here. I already set up the rotors right here. We'll have this switch to MK3. We'll have you come all the way out to here then we'll connect you up all right so i made a mistake we should have started down here but that's fine it happens go ahead and put our pole here let's connect these we have to go back up to supply power and stuff anyway so it's not like a huge deal so we'll just do this and back up and we can finish up our creation here and we'll have some motors so here we go just like that. We need some splitters. Put one right here. Technically, we don't need a splitter right here, but it'll make it look a little bit better in my opinion. If we can get it to act right. That looks good to me. And connect those. Connect those. Set this one to motors. Let's get ourselves some power. Steal some from over here. Like so. Connect these up. And now we just need to travel our motors once they're complete down to storage. And we're good to go. So let's get a merger. Right there. We are only obtaining five motors out of each of these. So let's go ahead and put an MK one belt and 
let's have this come out right next to our other thing here. Actually, we cannot. So what we're going to do, it is going to be right next to it. But if I remember correctly downstairs, we had it come in from the front. So we're just going to have this come down like this. Have this meet up like right here. Do an MK1 lift. Take this all the way back to our storage. Overlapping others clearance. Can't afford. We need some steel plates. Let me go ahead and find my steel plates. I'll see you guys in a second. All right. So now we have motors being automated. Slowly but surely, we will get a supply of motors. So we need those to craft both the refinery and the oil extractor. So we're going to go ahead and let those build up a little bit. I can also craft a few extra. So let's go ahead and craft some. We need stratters and rotors so I can handcraft some of these. So let's go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys once we are back at the oil location. All right. So we have everything on our to-do list completed. So we needed 105 motors. We have a little over that. We have 129. Uh, that's enough to build six refineries and three oil extractors. So we definitely need the three oil extractors. However, we might need extra for refineries. So what I'm thinking is they're 10 a piece. Let's get a uh, 150 motors just to call it square. Uh, but before we do that, there's one thing that I want to do mm -hmm. and double check the MAM. So let's go ahead and put the MAM down. I want to go to Caterium here. And we have the quick wire for this. So let's go ahead and start that research. Complete. And this will unlock a bunch of other stuff. So we have Caterium coming in. Uh, all we have to do is refine it. So if we can refine the Caterium into Caterium Ignits and refine the Ignits into Caterium wire, we can start crafting smart splitters. And I feel like smart splitters are very nice for the upcoming projects that we're going to have with oil and everything else. Uh, reason being is oil is very strict when it comes to overflow. If something gets overfilled, typically it stops the whole process or something happens and can cause an issue. So smart splitters will allow us to keep the system running at all times because we can have a smart splitter deliver all the overflow into a sink, resource sink. So we'll definitely want to get that before we can continue along here. So we need a bunch of Caterium. It's not a huge deal. Like I said, we already received our Caterium a little bit ago. Go ahead upstairs real quick. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go over here. So our Caterium right now is being delivered, but it is not being refined. So it's... Uh, a minor step to get it to be refined. We just need smelters and furnaces. But if you look right there, that is our Caterium. So all we have to do is drop that down somewhere, maybe even right here, get it all refined, turn it into quick wire and start our research in that department. But before that, we're going to go ahead and get started with our oil. So it doesn't hurt to get started with it just to get some of the products. Uh, we are not going to be using it for power currently, so it shouldn't be an issue there. Um, so. Let's head back over to our oil. And we will get started. All right, so we are back. Let's go ahead and drop our foundation. Remember to hit control and you'll have newer foundations on the world grid. 
definitely useful there. Let's move this guy out of the way. Do the same thing over here. Place our extractors. One and two. And now we have first uh, extractors down. So as you can see, impure nodes are delivering 60 uh, crude oil per minute. And refineries will need, let's go ahead and drop our foundations quick. Hold on. Just so I can place down a refinery. Refineries will need 20 per minute. That's for water. So where do we get to polymer resin? Is that from making rubber so if we make rubber we'll get polymer resin and water no is it fuel all right so this will get us fuel and polymer resin this will get us heavy oil residue and plastic And this will get us heavy oil residue and rubber. So heavy oil residue is the one that likes to build up. Unless you're making this petroleum coke, I assume. Uh, I remember back when I was doing it, I had this plastic, this regular rubber, and fuel running. And eventually, the uh, heavy oil residue would build up and shut everything down. So if we can make all three of these, that'd be great. But first we need 30 per minute here for plastic. So if we can make two of those, 30 per minute here, so we can make two of those. And if we put a um, oil extractor down here on this normal node, I assume that would give us 120. Which means we can either do our fuel down here and just let the uh, oil and rubber build up, up upstairs. Go ahead and place down our foundations. this guy down and this one does get us 120 so I mean I pretty much what I figured but I wanted to double check so we're getting a total of 240 oil out of these extractors I believe that's all they need they don't need uh, anything else in order to produce the oil They will need power, which we can get pretty easily. I'm thinking we can actually just go ahead and um, see our little passageway over there. We could divert our passageway over the top over here. Have it come straight through here. We could deliver some of the resources that way. But that'll be a project for off screen because I'm not going to show you that whole build process. But we can get started over here for now. So let's... Uh, Delete some of these. Let's 
much as I would love to uh, have everything flush on the ground here, it's usually not the best option. It's better to raise it up a little bit. We could go ahead and chop some of these down. Don't we have our thing? Yeah, so where is it? There we go. Chop some of this down, get it out of the way. Our fuel is in the floor over here. All right, so let's go ahead and put a ramp like so. And then we'll have our regular foundations. Not only will this raise it off the ground, but if we ever need anything to go underneath, we can also do that. out like this and we'll take out some of these trees the brush we don't need to worry about too much but we definitely need to get rid of some of these trees move our beast of a boy here this we just want a lot of extra room and this should be okay for now so let's uh finish this off now we can pl place our refineries down we'll need two for this one need to turn that around so we need two here like so move this guy again and we need two here as well alrighty Go ahead and place some water pipe supports. Right there looks good. There we go. That should be good enough for the two of those. We have that one come from this side. We'll need this over here. Like so. Like 
So, what income do we need? So this is plastic. We only need the crude oil to come in for plastic and the rubber. It's not ideal to have this little, but it's better than nothing. So let's go ahead and start with that. That means our export is going to be plastic and this heavy residual fuel. So what I'm thinking is we can have the uh, materials or the plastics and rubbers come out on a merger. Missing some rods. So we're going to go grab some resources because uh, we're going to need that to finish this anyway. So we're going to need some steel piping. I'm pretty sure we're going to need some copper plating. We're going to need some rods to make some splitters and stuff. And we're going to need to bring our power over. So we're going to go ahead and do all that and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so I just realized how long this video is going to be, and I think we're going to call the episode here. One thing I did do off screen, I set up some of our Caterium storage, have it smelting all the way upstairs, and I unlocked some of the Caterium parts. There was a AI limiter, there is power poles MK2, and we officially have smart splitters. Basically, we just use the quick wire to craft AI limiters, they require quick wire and the um the uh, copper plates copper plating uh, but yeah anyway we're gonna go ahead and call this episode here in the next episode we will continue our oil production we basically have the foundations and uh, some other things laid out i may change my um like my uh, setup next episode. I think we're going to find a way to make everything work pretty good. I've been doing a little bit of research and I would like to get it done right the first time. So with that being said, we're going to end this episode here. So, but with that being said, if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content of a satisfactory or games that are similar to Satisfactory, please subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate that. With that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care.